How's it up and Jankheads? Welcome back to Man Eater. We're back. And unfortunately, not actually quite where we left off. We're still the Bone Shark. I did still just get the Bone Head last episode. Very cool. I did unfortunately, however, play some of the game thinking I was recording when I actually wasn't. Very annoying, but whatever. I did do a little bit. I was pretty much just trying to mainline the story missions so that we could get a new... Uh, a new brutal challenger after Shamu, who, although was a little challenging, we did still beat in one try. So, you know, I, I still want a real tough challenge somewhere. And, uh, well, out in the, we're out in the Gulf now. Uh, we started, I think, this episode by getting the grotto that's out in the Gulf. I honestly don't even remember what I forgot to record. But we're in the Gulf now. We have the grotto out here. It's right there. Um, I did a few of the story missions. It was just... Um, uh, doing some hammerhead population control, which is kind of crazy. You gotta kill 10 hammerheads. It is a bit of a turn up, but at the same time, we can eat them in one bite. Hasn't been too bad. Uh, I also, unfortunately, did do some battling with humans, and I did kill the next hunter, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. It was a pretty simple battle. I was a full bone shark. I was just ripping through the boats. Wasn't really difficult or anything. We got mutagen digestion as a new, uh as a new mutation, which I probably don't think I'll even use, considering it's one of those more specific ones. Um, and then as far as catch-up goes, I think that's mostly it. I did also kill a sperm whale. I did do that, which is fine. We'll be doing that again this time. Specifically, we're going to be going after the hunted sperm whale, which should be even more powerful than that other one was, which I'm very much so looking forward to. But... That should be all we need for catch-up. We're in the Gulf now. I am sorry. I, I apologize. <laughs> that footage is forever lost. Oh, it's so frustrating when stuff like that happens, but it does happen. So, for now, I am still the Bone Shark. We're going to go kill 10 more Hammerheads over in this population control. We're going to go kill this yacht. Uh, and then we also, we will... Oh, it's, it's Bobby Lee. Huh. The Legend of Bobby Lee's Gold. I didn't know Bobby Lee was in this game. Interesting. Um... After we do this mission, we will also get the rest of the story missions for the Gulf. So we can also... Oh, didn't mean to activate that. Whoopsie. We'll also get the rest of the story missions for the Gulf, though, so we can uh, decide if we want to do those as well. It's funny. Whenever you activate the the special ability just in the middle of the ocean, you kind of just had to swim around with... Swim around with the techno music playing, but nothing cool actually happening. All right. Let's make our way over here. Oh, hey, Bobby Lee's right here. What up, dude? Uh, was a fan of your podcast for a little while. Kind of cool, I guess. See you in person. I don't know what made you get into shark hunting. Kind of kind of weird. I don't think a lot of content creators really go that go that route. Or he's a, I guess he's a comedian, technically. But, I mean, let's be real. They're all content creators now at this point. And one, a two, a three. He's a dead. All right, well... Bobby Lee put up a little bit of fight. Uh, not much, obviously, but am I being hunted already? No. Okay, we're good. Cool. All right. Well, after that, destroyed that little yachty poo. We can just go over here and munch some hammer, which usually there's also a sperm whale guarding these areas. Apparently, the sperm whales just love to eat hammerheads. Didn't know that was a thing. Frankly, I don't. I still don't think it is IRL, uh, but at least in this game's lore, it is. Although, I don't. I'll admit, I don't actually see... Oh, there's the sperm whale. Okay, cool. I'm going to munch down on these hammerheads, because that's what I need to do for the quest. But I think while I'm over here, just to kind of show you guys, uh, since I already did it, and we can just do it again while actually in the video. Oh, ooh, there's a little gate right here I might check out. Uh, but I think I'm going to kill that sperm whale while we're over here. Just get a little extra warm-up before we go and kill that hunted sperm whale, too. I am going to change to bioelectric before we get the hunted sperm whale, because... I mean, as far as hunting big animals go, bioelectric's definitely the way to go. Uh, however, the bone is pretty useful for just hunting the hammerheads and stuff, considering that thrash damage really does make them just the one-hit kills. Uh, and that seems to be everything for in here. There's a landmark over there, but I think that's on the surface. All right, cool. Let's burn through the rest of these hammer bros. Oh, okay. There's a couple of sperm whales over in this uh, shark hunting area, I see. Well, I don't really want to fight both at once, because they do have a lot of health and do pack a punch. So, you know what? I think I'm just going to kind of go up a little bit here. Get this guy's attention. What up, homie? What up? You want to go? You want to go? Come on, let's go. You and me, let's tussle right now. Mono a mono. Shark 
a whale. Nice, good start. Love that. I'm gonna instantly activate bone time, and we're gonna go fucking ham on this idiot. Try to get him stunned. We can do significant damage, and with the bone armor, we take very little damage, I will say. So, I'm not super scared. We can't thrash him, which is obviously the drawback of using the bone armor here. However, that bone uh, mode did did let us take down half of its health, so I will take that. I will certainly take that. And with a little bit of good dodging and some well-placed bites, maybe a couple hammerheads swallowed here and there to replenish our health, we should be able to oh, take this guy down handily. I did just barely dodge his heavy attack there, which is very good because he does do a full-on thrash on us for sure. Ooh, okay, tried to go forward a little bit there. Missed again on his part. I'm doing great. Frankly, I, I, I'm king of the world right now. King of the ocean, goddammit. I even said that earlier I, when I killed the first sperm whale. I was like, it's it's over. I mean, I'm king of the ocean again. Nothing can stand in my way. Look at that. I just took that sperm whale down fucking hand over fist. You know what? I'm going to kill his brother, too. Maybe that's racist to assume, assume they're brothers, but what can I say? All sperm whales look alike to me. Oh, it looks like I completed the hammerhead mission just while fighting the sperm whale. I didn't even realize, but I... Uh, Hunted enough hammerheads just uh, to replenish my health while fighting the whale. And it uh, looks like we unlocked the Apex mission, which you've got whale. Yeah, it's an Apex sperm whale, which I mean, I'll go do the hunted one first because it should be pretty significantly more chill than the Apex. I mean, they usually are. Um, there we go. There's another normal sperm whale in the fucking bag. Getting pretty good at killing them, too, I will say. I think I am ready for both. So, all right. Let's do it. In this episode, we are going to not only kill the hunted sperm whale, which is unfortunately a little farther away than the apex, but we'll also kill the apex, which is very, very exciting. And you know what else, actually? I could... You know what? Maybe before I do that, I could kill Mama Maybell and get the bioelectric tail. That way we could have an almost complete bioelectric set for fighting this apex. I guess I could even grind for this guy, too, and get the bioelectric head. Although I did just get to Infamy Rank 7, so it would take a while to grind all the way up there. Hmm. I guess maybe I should think about it, because I don't necessarily have anything else, any other specific quests to do other than the two I'm about to do. Maybe I will. Do I have a good human-killing quest nearby? There's one. All right, you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to kill some humans, I'm going to get a hunt started, and then I am going to... Oh, it's that way? Well, it's so much farther away than I was expecting. Damn, we really do get out here and in, into this deep-ass ocean. But alright, yeah, we're going to get a hunt started, and then we're going to grind until we get the next... At least the next one hunter. Unfortunately, I did the last hunter off-camera, accidentally. But I'll get at least the next hunter on camera this episode, and then... Maybe the next one, too, just so we can get the full bioelectric set before fighting the apex sperm whale. That would be pretty sweet. I mean, I want to change the bioelectric anyway, so maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay, I'm at the Consume 5 Humans location. I don't see any. Do I just have to kill the humans on the boat? It's not giving me, like, the... Oh, there they are. Oh, no, wait. That's Consume 10 Humans, and that's a different quest that's over on the beach. That's this one. Interesting. Do I just have to kill the fishing boat? It's not giving me the little notification arrows letting me know that this is what I need to attack, so I'm not sure. But I guess we'll see. Either way, the threat should come, so I mean, that's what I'm mainly interested in. Consume five humans. Does consuming these count? No. So what the hell does it want me to do? I don't know. Either way, you know what? We already got... Oh, there's the divers! Oh, they're in an underwater... These are cave divers? Oh, that's actually cool as shit. How do I get under there? How do I get under there? There seems to be a collectible under there, too. Alright, you know what? I said I wanted to do the hunt, and we will, but... I kind of want to figure out how to get under... Into this cave. Bunch of cave divers down there trying to steal my loot and shit. I ain't gonna let that fly. No way, no how. Oh, there's the grate. Alright, let's swim around and get down in there. Hell yeah! Oh, it's just you and me. And trust me, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Dude, if I was deep sea diving in an underwater cave and then a shark swam in, oh my god. I mean, I'm sure I'd already be pissing my absolute dick off, but at that point, I wouldn't be keeping anything inside me. I'll, be, I'll tell you that much. Boop. Nice. 
now how do we get out of here this way okay Looks like I got everything. Very cool. All right, cool. Let's just go back up to the beach now, and I can do that other Consume Humans quest. Uh, oh, there's a cache right here as well. Oh, shit. I am deeper in a cave. Ah, okay. I just realized I did not leave. I'm actually deeper. Cool. Is there... Oh, they, that must be the way out. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll run back over to the beach, consume some more people, get that hunt started. Whoa, is that a... Oh, nice. A T-Rex skull. That is pretty beast-made, dude. Oh, it would be cool if they had some, like, prehistoric shit in this game, I gotta say. Doing, like, the, uh... Like a, like a big-ass Megalodon or, or, uh, or, uh, or, uh... Fuck, now, of course, my dinosaur and aquatic reptile names fail me. Mosasaurus. Getting, like, a big-ass Mosasaurus or a Liaplerodon or a P Plesiosaur. That would all be cool as shit, man. Even, like, a Xyphactinus would be cool. Like, one of those big-ass fish. Man. I mean, honestly, I'd play, like... Like, Far Cry Primal is the, the prehistoric version of Far Cry. I'd play Maneater Primal. Just the same game, but in set in prehistoric times. And instead of eating humans, you're eating, like... I guess... Uh, I guess not having humans to eat would kind of be a downside, considering it's a pretty big like part of this game but at the same time having dinosaurs on land to like occasionally eat like that would totally make up for it honestly if the devs a man eater if you're watching get on that all right you, get on that you don't even have to give me credit all right i mean you should but you don't even have to all right I, I, it's worth it just to play that shit all right now we got the boats out these are some gigantic fucking fishing boats we got on us at this point not even the hunter boats just straight up fishing trawlers uh, so, alright, I'm gonna rip through these guys, and we're gonna, we're just, just at the precipice of level 7, so it is gonna take a while, but we're gonna, we're going all the way to level 8, dude, I'm committing, we're doing this shit. Go! Yeah! Nice, did get a lunge off on him, I'm still kinda trying to figure out the lunges, like, how they work perfectly, but I think, oh, see, I didn't get one that time. Hmm... I don't exactly know. Oh, see, I got that one. Th okay, I got one that time. They're a little finicky, finicky I think, the lunges specifically, because you kind of have to be, like, the perfect distance away for them to work. But they do do a lot of damage, to be fair. So I guess that's kind of what makes up for it. And I do think also when I land on a boat like that from the air, like, even just from a dodge, it also maybe counts as a lunge. So that is, I think, what a significant amount of my damage to these boats is coming from. But I've only made it, like, a fourth of the way to level 8, so I got to... We'll start putting in the work here. Oh, man. It is so satisfying to use the special for the Bone Shark and just fucking become an absolute high armor, high damage machine of killing and rending metal. Oh, my God. It is so satisfying. And you get it pretty consistently, too. Like, as long as you keep eating the hunters and shit, like, you can activate that shit pretty consistently. All right. Well, I made it through a solid wave of hunters which was enough to get me about halfway through Infamy Rank 7. So I'll take that. But, uh, all right. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep at it, baby. Who's next? There they are. All right. Now it's just you and me. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's really not. There's a lot of people here. I mean, this is like, this is basically a party at this point. But you know what? It still kind of feels like it's just you and me, you know, because I'm kind of just like absolutely ripping ass all over your face and chest. So like, you know, the metaphor still tracks, is all I'm trying to say. I've been eating all the people all the live long day. Oh, man. It is, it, it's a workout. You know, I'll say that. You put you put in long hours just hunting people all day, and, uh, well, you know, you, you, you wait for payday. And one day it comes, but... That, that time in between, it's just, uh, you know, it's hard, good hours. And, uh, frankly, it's honest work. You know, it ain't much, but it's honest work. And uh, as a shark like me, that's all we can ask for, really. It's just some simple, honest, uh, good work that can really help our community, that sort of thing. Incoming. Oh, my God, finally. That took so long. <laughs> just straight up raw grinding infamy ranks in this does take a hot second. I will say that. A bounty has been posted. Okay, are we... Is she actually coming? There she is. Okay. Oh, shit. We got a big old woman on the case. All right, all right. I like the look. I like the look. Mama Maybell, is she on one of these here boats? Where is she? 
I don't actually see... Yeah, I think that's her right there. Is it? No, that's not her. It doesn't say her name. It must not be. Where's Mama? Where's Big Mama? I want her. I want to eat her. I don't, wanna, I don't want all that good meat to go to waste, all right? I want that shit in my gullet. Is she on that boat? I still can't see her. She might be behind, like, some protection or something. So let's just go ham ape for a little while. Which, uh, translated is go really hard and fast and good on it. Let's also... Might as well just use that shit pretty much immediately. Was that her boat? Is she in the water? Is that her right there? I still can't tell. I don't think that was her. No? No, that wasn't her. I don't know. Is that her? Why is she on this little ass boat? No, I don't think that's her either. Hmm. Well, maybe she's already in the water. Honestly, at this point, I mean, I can mow through the boats pretty quick. So, like, I don't know which one she was on. Maybe, maybe she's still on this one. That's probably... I still don't see her anywhere, admittedly. Where is Mama? Is Mama here? Is she even showing up? I don't know. I actually don't see her. Huh. She must be on one of these boats. I guess see her. Let's just keep destroying. She might be on this big ass yacht. Oh no! Oh, I see her. There she is. There she is. Alright, I sniffed you out. I know which boat you're on now. Come on. Come on. Keep it coming. Okay, she does have a pretty tough yacht. I'll give her that. Her yacht is beefy. I mean, hey, beefy yacht for a beefy gal. I like that. I like the look. Nice! Infamy rank, level 8, and we unlocked the bioelectric tail. Very, very cool. All right, well, I will say it, it, it does take a while to level up infamy rank. However, I think it would be really cool to unlock the... Uh, Un unlock the electric set, the full bioelectric set this episode. I feel it's only fair since I did accidentally play through a part of the game without recording it. Uh, so yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna keep grinding. We're gonna get to level 9. We're gonna get the last piece of the bioelectric set and then we're gonna go kill the hunted and then the apex uh, sperm whales. Okay. Okay. We had a plan. I like that. It's good to be a man with a plan. That way you can keep your bearings. I will say the hunter ships are definitely getting bigger and bigger. So I may actually start running into some trouble here as I'm starting to grind to level nine. I guess we'll see. I am a little low on health. Maybe I need to be more focused on eating the actual hunters and a little less on the boats. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh God. All right. We are in it pretty thick. I will say I've been trying to eat as many hunters as I can, but I am really getting lit up out here. So it is kind of hard to keep my health up. We might actually be out of our depth as far as the humans go a little bit. Oof, I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to get to level 9 right now. Interesting. Okay, well, you know what? That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I could still definitely take down that whale without the uh, electric head. I mean, we still got the tail. I don't know. I'm going to keep trying. I think, you know what? I did want to push myself until I actually failed. So, this can also count. It's not a big uh, creature to kill, but that's all right. You know, maybe the humans actually got some... Uh, got a little bit of a power increase at this level because they've honestly been pretty easy for a while as well so makes sense that we'd be finally reaching the point where they are once again getting pretty powerful oh those okay that looks okay i'll admit that looked like one real <laughs> one really big boat rather than three pretty big boats at first so it's not that crazy but okay i got a decent amount of health back let's activate our shit let's get back in there and let's see how much how close to level nine we can at least get Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. We're taking damage, but with the special ability applied, we do have even more armor. And if I keep dodge spinning on the boats, we destroy them pretty quick, I will say. If I can keep casually eating some hunters, and I think I can keep my health up enough to get all the way to level 9. We're already halfway there. You know what? This actually seems to be going faster than uh, getting to level 8. So I'll take that. Oh, wait a minute. That says the U.S. Coast Guard on it. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize. Okay, well, that is definitely an increase in power from some Bayou fishermen. I'll tell you that much. We're straight up fighting the Coast Guard at this point? Damn! That is actually badass. Okay, you know what? I'm on board with that. And I think also at this point, uh, the level up process has slowed a little bit, but I am keeping my health pretty pristine. So we're going to do it. I'm committing. We're getting all the way to level 9. All right, we're almost there. I've been working at it. I've been doing a little bit of old-fashioned grinding, and we are almost there, people. Just a couple more of these big-ass boats, 
And I'm gonna bring out the next hunter. I didn't even see who this guy really is, but I'm sure he'll be pretty much just as easy as the rest. I will say, the human bosses, I, I think they are on the list of things in this game, a short list, admittedly, but they are on my list for things that could be improved for, the, for this game. If they ever had a sequel or just like, you know, things that could have been better on the original release would be the human bosses. Because as cool as it is to, like, have the humans come out and, like, you see them and everything. And, like, having the infamy rank solely level up, I think, is a cool way to do it and everything. And even the grind, I've been complaining a little bit, but it's really not that bad. So, like, I think that, that all works pretty well. But one thing I would probably fix or change a little is the boss battles just because they're just another boat with the person on it. Like, they don't feel any different from the rest of the boats with the rest of the people on it. Wait a minute. Is that a Tesla boat? Uh... Okay. I'll admit I don't know what to do about that. That seems a little crazy. Um, you know what? Let me see if I can maybe, like, grab a hunter. Oh! Okay, guess not. He immediately killed him. Interesting. The able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. <laughs> the able-bodied seaman. <laughs> You're gonna be the half-bodied seaman when I'm done with you. Oh, Shark Shield. Looks like bounty hunters have been watching too many Nikola Tesla documentaries. Same, dude, same. If you swim near that Shark Shield, you're probably going to get a nice jolt of electricity as long as you stay in it. Maybe it can be destroyed. Got it. Okay, so there's a way to... Oh, damn. Okay, that does seem to do pretty significant damage. Um, here, let's back off a little bit. Get kind of a good look at what we got here. Let's maybe pick off a couple divers, and I can get a little health back as well. And then... Oh, you know what, actually? Is there another diver down here somewhere? Oh, that was the last one. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, hold on. I'm going to grab him. I'm not going to thrash him. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, shit. I don't have a lot of option as far as, uh... Oh! Oh, let's go, dude! I hit him with the bomb! Okay, I get it now. I get how to use the bombs. All right, cool. Let's just get him to... Oh, you know what, actually? You know what? I was gonna say, let's get him to throw another bomb at me, but I have my own ammunition that I can use. Come here! Don't thrash him too much now. Don't thrash him too much. Come on. And... Yup! Boom! Nailed! Got him with a hammerhead right to the face. I don't know how much damage that actually did, but, I mean, it had to do a pretty decent amount. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was trying to go after the bomb. I took some damage. I don't know if I actually ended up hitting him with the bomb or not. Oh, that's hammerheads. He's just swimming away now. He's like, fuck, dude. I gotta get out of here before I get used as a... <laughs> before I get used as ammo again. Hold on. Can I get him again? It would be really funny to use the same hammerhead again. Okay. A Mako will do. As long as I don't insta-kill him, which could happen. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Nice. Okay, another hit. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing damage to the the thing or... Oh, uh-oh. 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 Run. Run. I was trying to pick up the bomb, but I probably should have just ran. Okay. Okay. Um, What's our strategy here? We have an ability that we can use, so that's something. Maybe I ought to... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hit him with another bomb. Nice. Uh, I am getting a little bit low, so I'm going to use this. And then we're going to kind of just go in and see if we can get some health back for a second. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm scared. Oh, God. We're getting really low. Oh, God. Submerge. Submerge. Run. Oh, God. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, shit. Shit. We need some health. Um, I don't want them to go away, so I can't get too far away. But shit, dude. I think I'm going to need some health if I'm going to do this. Um, if they throw another bomb, I could probably get the... Okay, there's a Mahi. I can eat that at least. Let's try to eat at least a couple things to get some health. I think we have successfully reached the point where we are challenged again. So I am at least glad about that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to grab you and just immediately slam you into this, which isn't even the boat that I was going after. Where's the good one? It's over there. All right, you know what? Let's just destroy this one while we're over here then. Come on. Get rid of it. I assume the less boats we have to deal with, the better. So we might as well just get rid of these ones. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm going to grab the diver. I'm going to hit him over there, I guess. Uh, I think I only can really aim that well if I'm above the surface, unfortunately. Throw another bomb at me, why don't you? There we go. There we go. Nice. Another good hit. How many times do I have to hit this thing to destroy that shield? Nice. Okay, hit him with another diver. Uh, there's another bomb over there. That's going to go off too fast. 
Maybe I should just be waiting for more bombs. Oh, I don't even know if I hit that the right direction. Whatever, that's fine. I'm still really low on health, so I'm very scared to go in too close. Is that a bomb right there? Oh shit, it is. Was that a miss? Oh, that was just a straight up whiff. Oh shit, dude. Shit. There's no fish around here I could eat. Fuck, dude. All right, I just gotta be careful. I just gotta take it slow. Let's see if we can just get another bomb from him. And we're gonna keep... Oh, that's a bomb right there. That was a little risky, but oh, we nailed it. We nailed it, baby. Come on, that shield has gotta be close, right? It's, lo it's less than half health. How do I have to destroy that thing? Come on. Come on, give me another bomb. Come on. Maybe they learned their lesson or not throwing any bombs anymore. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm still quite low on health, so I don't really want to physically engage necessarily. Oh, I can eat you. Oh, but see, I, I lost health just going in there to grab him is the problem. All right, hold on. Maybe I can kind of grab a couple of normal humans off of, like, a yacht. Okay, that's not bad. I got one. I'm not healing much, though. Okay, maybe there's there's a little bit of fish here. I'm gonna eat that. Keep on the move. Okay, we got some bigger fish here. Nice, nice. Let's just not let them get too far, and we can keep this battle going. Let's eat the turtle. Okay, okay, that's some health we can work with. Now, let's see if we can actually get them to chuck another bomb out at us, because otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do to destroy this thing. Come on. Come on, chuck a bomb. Chuck a bomb. I know you want to. There it is. There it is. Okay, that like immediately exploded. That Was that the same type of bomb as the other type? Because that seemed to explode much faster. I don't know. Shit, are they even throwing bombs anymore? Oh, I got another hunter. I'll take that. Oh, there was one, I think. The main boat doesn't seem to be throwing bombs anymore. It's kind of the problem. All right, you know what? We're going to go in. We're going to go in full attack style and just try to blow the shit out of them. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just had to use our little uh, special special bone armor, and we went right in there and we eviscerated them. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right, well, these guys are going to keep attacking me until I completely evade them. So I'm going to grab this box. A little bit of loot, never hurt nobody. And then we're going to skeet addle on out of here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Oh, apparently they can still see me? Oh, it's just a diver. Okay. Now can they not see me anymore? There we go. Okay, cool. So I think I have to shake them, unfortunately. So I'm just going to actually... Oh, you know what? It's pretty close. Let's just go back to the grotto. And that way we can... Oh, yeah. We can, we can attach our full and entire electric set now. Oh, the bioelectric shark, baby. It's complete. And then we can go on our grand hunt of the spermous whales. <laughs> ah, home sweet home yet again. I guess you guys haven't even seen this grotto, right? Because I found this when I wasn't recording, I think. Either way, here's the grotto, if any of you care. Now, back in here, we're going to do the full switcherooski. Bioelectric teeth already fully evolved. Love to see that. My mouse still a little like it's like weirdly laggy for some reason. Like I click on something and it takes a sec. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, here's the head. Duh. Ooh, okay. I do have a shitload of fat, so you know what? I can probably upgrade this thing pretty much fully. What does this do? Um, this evolution releases a short electrical shock when you ram boats, short circuiting them. Oh. The target boat cannot move for eight seconds. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm not actually gonna max that out because that seems kind of dog shit, but okay. With that, that does make the electric set definitely better. Not better than the bone set, but better than it used to be at handling humans in boats and such. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Let's switch back to the bioelectric body. This is also fully upgraded. I think the rest of the bioelectric set may already be fully upgraded, except for the tail, obviously, because that's brand new. Let's switch back to electric fins. There they are. Beautiful, beautiful. There it is. Nice. And slowly click to the tail. There we go. Bioelectric tail. So, oh, it does actually say 
plus 30% bioelectric damage bonus for having the full set. Or plus 50%. Cool. Okay, very cool. So I see how, yeah, I see how that's kind of the, the set bonus in that way. And this, what does this do? You launch a... You launch a wave of electricity, inflicting four damage and putting one stun counter on anything in its path for 30 meters. Really? That's cool. A target is stunned when it accumulates 10 stun. Yeah, I know how the stun works. Cool, though. Okay, so we actually have, like, a full-on, like, projectile, like, shockwave attack. That sounds badass as shit. And I will be fully upgrading this right away. Perfect. Already tier 5. Sweet. So that means we almost have a fully upgraded electric set just in general no hold on why did you do that switch to there now click the back button excuse me click the back button dude i don't know what's been happening but something is weird that took way too long okay i don't know now you know what? Ah, fuck it. Just just to have the fully upgraded bioelectric set, I'm not going to leave this one on tier 4. L let's just do it. Let's finish it off. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the full bioelectric shark. Holy shit, that's crazy looking. God sweet damn. Can I, like, um, do this so that I can actually get the full thing why did the tool tips stay so long i don't know man i don't now i can't even get rid of the tool tips last time to get rid of it i did that and then switch back i don't know <laughs> i'm freaking out either way the shark is here the bioelectric shark it's done it's beautiful and now you know what time it is everybody it's time to go and kill the biggest most powerful things we have killed yet we're not going to go and immediately kill the apex we're going to first go down here to the gulf and we're gonna kill the sewer cetacean the sperm whale here appears to have developed a taste for treated effluent that can't be having any negative health consequences oh so this this is the this is the shit whale got it okay well yeah i, I reckon that does probably need to die oh shit oh shit oh no i did Oh no. Fuck, dude. I did not want to fight this thing right now. Is that Moby Dick? Is that straight up Moby Dick? Where is he? Oh god, okay, there he is. Okay, hopefully he doesn't just know where I am automatically, because I do not want to fight that thing quite yet. I mean, I'm not going to get any more powerful, so like, I mean, I could fight it right now, clearly, but... Man, that thing is intimidating, I gotta say. I mean, straight up Moby Dick covered in, like, spears and ropes and... Is that an anchor tied to its tail? That is fucked up. Huh. Alright, well, before we can kill Moby, we gotta go kill the shit whale. So, let's let's stay on target here. Alright, there he is. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, I can smell this fucker from here. Dude. Level 55. Wait a minute. That was higher... I thought it was level 45. Why did I think that? I don't know why I thought that. Level 55, okay. That is definitely the highest level thing I, uh, I I will have ever fought. So, let's get ready. Okay, let, let's get ready. Let's, let's, you know, let's get into battle, battle state. <sighs> it has an Orca bodyguard, which kind of sucks ass. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and kill this thing right off the bat. Hit it with a couple electric shocks, and then I should be able to... Oh, okay, I missed the bite there, apparently. But I should be able to thrash this thing pretty quickly, considering... Yeah, there we go. Considering I can get that stun counter absolutely going buck wild. All right, just a little bit of a warm up with an orca, then we'll go kill the shit whale. Because I mean, we might as well get this guy out of dodge anyway. We don't want him to be in the battle while we're fighting El Shit Whale. Oh, dude, dude, with that stun counter that we're getting from the electric shock, I mean, we are just thrashing this thing nonstop. He's running from us, man. We're getting orcas to run from us. Bro, I'm only level 30, dog. You don't got to run from me that far. I, I ain't that scary, homie. I swear. There he goes. Dead as shit. Nice. And there's another one. Very cool. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just going to try to avoid these guys. It seems like the whale is kind of on the move anyway. Get back here, you big bastard. Level 55. Was the other one level 55? Didn't I fight one of these guys already? Okay. Well, he's going at it. So let's get into it. Oh, he dodged my tail whip? Impressive. Impressive. You managed to dodge my tail whip. 
but will you dodge it twice? Ow! Okay, maybe you will. Shit, dude. All right, let's use our ability pretty quick here and see if we can just get the, the stun stun lock on him, literally. Let's just see if we can literally stun lock him right off the bat. This thing probably has a pretty wicked, like, stun resiliency, I assume. But, I mean, it's not attacking me, so I think, honestly, this we might, ha we might actually have this in the bag. Is it going to attack me? I don't even have my special ability going anymore. Oh. Well... Okay. <laughs> if I'm being honest, that one actually kind of ended up feeling a little sad by the end. Um, I kind of I kind of just tased it until he died. Well, all right. I guess, you know, it wasn't the most satisfying kill, but I'll take it still. Uh, so, okay. In that case, that leaves the only thing, the only potential thing that could still be powerful enough to actually challenge us other than potentially some more future humans they do seem to be getting pretty crazy is gonna be this apex sperm whale we get subliminal evasion if we beat him interesting okay well let's do it i'm ready now where did that big old white whale go whereabouts did he run off to Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> that scares me so much every time. Okay, I assumed he was just going to still be spawned in, but I guess they got to respawn him in. That's fine. Let's do this. It's boss fight time. Real boss fight time. Are you ready? Are you ready for what I got, level 60? I don't think you are, bro. I'm about to turn on the heat on your ass. You in the ring with me now. The jank shark. The sharkum. I'm gonna tear you up and make you cry for your mama, brother bear. You're going down. You're going down. What's the... Fuck, what's the captain's name from Moby Dick? I'm gonna take you down to the underworld just like I was Captain Ahab. You ain't nothing to me, man. I'm gonna rip you to shreds. I'm gonna jump off the top rope and send you down to your premature grave. Easy, bro. Dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermaceti. Spermaceti? Okay, I didn't catch most of what he just said, but he ended with spermaceti, which I do like. All right, man. Well, there you go. We uh, have officially killed, at least uh, as far as I am concerned, as far as I know, we have officially just killed the biggest and most powerful sea creature in the game. Uh. Um, and if you're, if you're feeling like that may have been a little anticlimactic, um, I would agree, if I'm being honest, that was pretty pathetic, that was pretty pathetic, that was pretty easy. I kinda, I, I like, he, I don't even know if he, did he hit me once? Did he? He hit me at least once, right? Shit, man. Guess I got a little carried away, didn't even really give him a fighting chance. Hmm. Well, uh, clearly the next story mission is a little check-in with Pete, so that's a, probably a perfect place to end this episode after we uh, check in with what he's doing, but... Huh. I don't know. I guess we'll see what bosses this game has left to offer. I'm still waiting for a truly challenging one. I will say that that human that we fought at the beginning of the episode, he with the, with the electrical shield, he was kind of a cool boss. That's kind of like... One of the first, I feel like, really, like, boss that had, like, an extra layer to it. The rest of them have kind of all been the same. That's not a very, that's not a very shining review of this game, I know. It is very fun. Okay. There are several features probably not legal for civilian use. <laughs> Wouldn't be for Pete if it, if it wasn't. That's a torpedo. Is that, a, like, a nuke? That looks like a nuke. So you found me. So, uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a Shaw? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No. A little bit. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. No, I didn't get you easy. But when some, mm. some shark <laughs> take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! True. You did kill my mom, though. Just to remember that. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, he's getting, he's getting physical. 
I like that. Okay, oh, Jesus Christ. He's equipped with four gigantic nuke-sized torpedoes. So, okay. Okay. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? No. I really, I no, I don't think so. I mean, I've been fucking ripping shit apart. Oh, okay. New quest is actually fight Pete. Is that this is straight up Mega Shark versus PT five two two. Oh shit. Well, it's well, it's all been building up to this. Do you? Oh, whoops. Do you have what it takes to defeat a prosthesis wearing? Double amputee. Wow, why'd you have to make it so sad? Take on Pete and his refurbished World War II era attack vessel. Got it. Okay, well, we have clearly a pretty cool human boss to fight next time. Maybe I will also beat the last infamy rank before I do this? I mean, this seems like, to me, this is going to be the final boss of the game. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but this seems like the final boss of the game, so I should theoretically do everything I want to do before then first. Hmm. Man, I uh, I was kind of just gunning through the story missions to find something that was gonna uh, you know, that was gonna challenge me. But we kind of just ended up beating the story instead. I mean, we haven't yet. We still gotta fight Pete. So maybe that's what I'll do next time. I'll fight Pete. If he wins, then we can you know keep doing some collectibles and stuff. Keep trying to level up and all that. But I mean, after I eviscerated that shark or that sperm whale, I don't know. I think we got all we're gonna need. And then as cool as it would be to collect all the collectibles and stuff and get the full shadow set, that would be very cool. There is also clearly some pretty cool other, like, evolutions we could get. Uh, and I, there is also the DLC, which I do plan to do. I don't know exactly how that starts or whatever, but I guess we'll see. Um, but okay. That's another episode of Maneater, everybody. That one was uh, another hefty amount of progress. We fought the biggest things we've ever fought. It admittedly was a pretty goddamn easy fight. But hey, next time we can hopefully, once and for all, take down take down the bastard that killed our mom. Yeah. I mean, we've already driven him crazy. So I, I do already feel pretty good about that. And killed his son. So we did pretty much already win. But hey, we might as well finish the job. But that'll be next time, everyone. For now. Peace out, Jenkheads.